court. If I get a no, I, I want to start up a war, then you can't even go to the store. I think Hey man, say what it do, decent crew man. We back, man. You heard me? I mean, we back lit again with another dope ass episode of Decent Television, man. Hashtag DTV. Come on and viral me. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, if you ain't already did so, please go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, man. Where I bring you some of the dopest news I can, or I give you a dope ass story about myself. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, Decent Television, man. Let's go. What it do, Decent Television? Y'all already know how it goes. Your world smoke, Decent, the superstar. You heard me? Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, man. Because we back with another dope-ass episode for y'all real quick. You know what I'm saying? Uh, today, though, story time. We want to hop in story time. I want to share a story with you guys, man. Good morning, too, yo. Let's have breakfast. I'm going to share a story with you guys while I prepare myself some fried eggs. You know what I'm talking about? And, uh... Today I want to tell y'all about the story. This is the story about the time the Jamaicans tried to kill me. <laughs> yeah, this the, is the story about the time that the Jamaicans wanted to kill me, man. Fucking scary, scary type of type of shit, you know what I'm saying? This was a scary moment, man. Shouts to, to the Jamaicans, man, you know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with them heavy. So, yeah, maybe... Fry me about three of these hot dogs, you hear me? So yeah, story time. It's the time, man, when the Jamaicans wanted to do something to me, right? So look, I'm staying in these little apartments out in Newport News, Virginia, whatever. And um, uh, I had some rims for sale. I think I had like a like a, a grand marquise or something like that, and I had these rims for it, but I won't really try and ride the rims. So, you know, because I got these rims for sale, make a long story short. And we about to sell these rims. I think we put them online. If I can remember correctly or whatever. I think we put them online. So, these cats hit us up. They wanted to purchase the rims. I'm announced to me. I'm announced to me. They some Jamaicans or whatever. Which it don't matter who you is. No, we just trying to we just trying to sell these rims. You know what I'm saying? So, goddamn, the dudes come through there. And, of course, they some cool cats. You know what I'm saying? I love the Jamaican accent, man. I love their little swag, man. You know what I'm saying? So, much love to the, to, to the Jamaicans, whatever. So, goddamn, they come to the crib. We give them the address. You know what I'm saying? We give them the address. They come to the crib. Hold up. Hold up, y'all. Yeah, so we give them the address, and they come to the crib to check out the rooms. You know what I'm saying? There's two of them. You know what I mean? So... It's really my 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 girl's rims. The short ass way of time. It's, it's they her rims. I'm just trying to help her sell them. So when they get there, you know, we both handling the deal. But I'm letting her shot call a little bit. Like it's what she trying to get for them. You know what I mean? Like so, the dude, the main buyer, he's pretty much he conversating with her. The other dude. I don't know. I felt like he was standing around like muscle, like security or something. You know, he won't say much. You know, I tried, goddamn, chop it up with him a little bit while they conduct the business or whatever, but that really didn't go anywhere. So, goddamn, uh, dude start talking about how, you know, he got the smoke. You know what I'm saying? He got the weed, you know what I'm saying? Whatever we need. You ain't got to tell me that oh, I figure that much you was Jamaican, you know what I'm saying? That's part of y'all religion, you know what I'm saying? So, he starts saying he got the smoke. So, I, I'm, I'm interested, though, you know me. I'm trapped out. I'm like, shit, babe, see what's up. See what he working with. So, she like... She hollered at that man about the weed, and uh, and nigga like shit, he gonna he gonna give us a pound, and we just hit him back, you know what I'm saying? So like, oh shit, okay, that's what's up, you know what I'm saying? And now he coming out his pocket with the money, he buying the rims slight too. I think we sold the rims for like three, four hundred dollars, something slight, you know what I'm saying? So goddamn, but the reason why he wanted to throw the weed, I ain't noticed that at first. Reason why he it really wasn't for me. He was like he wanted to do business with the old lady. To the point that even when I came up to start talking this, let you talk about these tires. I'm gonna talk about this dope, you know what I'm saying? It's like he ain't really want to deal with me. So I stepped back for a minute because I, I wanted the deal to go through. And come to find out, it's like he was he was putting his mood down though. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to impress my girl, you know what I mean? Like, you know how I do come around. And and the niggas was clean. They was some clean ass Jamaicans. So they had that little shit on and, and they pulling money out. And they got the smoke, you know what I'm saying? But they ain't got the smoke with them. 
So he buy the rims and he, he trying to holler at my shorty, you know what I'm saying? She kind of, I ain't saying she going with it or whatever, but she ain't she ain't stopping nothing either. She trying to get this money, right? So when them niggas leave, I'm like, shit, fuck them niggas, man. Goddamn. Me on my little petty shit. Niggas try to holler at my girl and shit. I'm a, I'm a, we going to get that smoke. We ain't giving their ass nothing, you know what I'm saying? So I never even really got a chance to get that far. To the point where I'm about to get this this weed from y'all and buck on y'all, nigga. I ain't get that far because these guys took the rims. I, I helped the niggas put the rims in the car. These niggas took the rims, and I guess they went home to to try to put them on whatever vehicle they wanted to put them on. You know what I'm saying? And when they get there, the rims didn't fit the vehicle they were trying to put it on. You know what I'm saying? That ain't my fault, you heard me? Like, nigga, we not rim time and all that, you know what I'm saying? We bought some rims off the streets, you know what I'm saying? And final sale final. No refunds, right? So he starts calling like... He starts calling like the rims didn't fit or whatever, whatever. At this time, I'm on the road. I don't know, I already took his little bread and I'm going... I'm about to go make my little moves. Now we got... Three, four hundred extra dollars in our pocket. Shit, I think we had went to Virginia Beach. I was already planning on going to Virginia Beach that weekend. Some shit like that. So we on the road we're going to Virginia Beach. But this nigga calling this shit. And at first. And he calling this shit. And at first he like. He's still trying to talk to the old lady, man. Like, yo, what's up? Do you still want that weed? This, that, and the third. Da, 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 da. And he's saying he going to pull up and he going to give us the weed, but he need that money back for the rims, da 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 So we like, oh, no, nah, you got to find somebody to sell them two same way we did. We don't, we going, that money gone already. This nigga start talking about how, like, he going to pull up to the crib. Don't forget I know where y'all live. At this point, I speak up now, like, who this nigga talk to? So I speak up like, hey, bro, that's a threat or some shit like that, nigga. That nigga said. Don't play with me. Me from Kingston, me real Jamaican, man, make me kill you. Me pull up to your crib, me kill you, me know where you stay at. Nigga, what? Man, I tell that nigga, my nigga, fuck you, nigga. Nigga, I'm from such and such, nigga. I'm from North Neck, Virginia. I'm from Molis, nigga. You got me fucked up, nigga. I ain't by stunting that shit, nigga. I ain't ducking shit even, nigga. Fuck you talking about. Boom. Snap on a nigga. I snap on a nigga, so... Now, he going ham, you know what I'm saying? He mad. He want to do something to me, right? I'm in Virginia Beach. Fuck that nigga. Like, I ain't thinking about this nigga, right? Goddamn, then it hit me, though. I think I stayed out Virginia Beach that weekend or something like that, but then it hit me, though. Like, I got to go home this nigga. Do know where I stay at. I done talk mad wild to this man. He done talk mad wild to me. And I might not have enough firepower for these damn Jamaicans. That's what I start thinking about. Because, look, I had some guns. Or I had a gun. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, these niggas about to come through here with AKs and, and some more shit. You know what I'm saying? So, goddamn, I get to call the boys. You know what I'm saying? I got to call the hometown real quick. And let my folks know what's going on with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. I think I got some smoke with these Jamaicans and all. They talking about putting us in my crib killing me, man. So, you know, I'm going to tell y'all, man, this shit got real serious, though. It got scary, man. It went from me having phone calls, like death threat calls, you know what I'm saying, back-to-back -back type shit, to me being at work and, like, some random guy, like, stalking me on my overnight job at that, you know what I'm saying, like, stalking me. You know, I had to start strapping up at work. Uh, it went for me, like, <clears throat> I couldn't really let my kids go outside and play like that, you know what I'm saying? I had to goddamn... Like, I walk out the door first, you know what I'm saying, post up outside for me, just to see if somebody would post it up out, even with, with me and the family, but to go do regular grocery shopping or something like that, I walk out the door first before my family come out there, in case the niggas try to take me down and all that, you know, people all around the corner, make sure anybody there heard me get in the car and get up out there, you know what I'm saying, and it became difficult to live in, in, in that particular area, you know what I'm saying, it got so scary that my family members was calling me, like my father and them. Like, begging me to just move, and, you know, just that and third. You know, me, I like I said, I really won't duck in nothing just with trying to be prepared for anything, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, 
after I ain't hear from them guys in about a month. I admit that you would you would think that I would calm down or it'd get easy, but now nah, that got more skirt. You know, ain't no expiration date on this beef. So I'm figuring like, oh, they want me to get comfortable, you know what I'm saying? And who's to say that they ain't been kind of watching me the whole time? Cause I still don't know who this little random mystery guy that was stalking me at work was, you know what I'm saying? So I just up and left. Keep in mind I still had like three, four months left in my lease. So I gotta still take care of that, but I moved and moved to a whole nother house, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I tell people, like, that shit, that beef ain't real if you ain't had to break a lease, you know what I'm saying, to really get out your residence and all that, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, man, after I moved, you know, shit started, it died down. Even the phone calls died down. I guess they couldn't find me like that, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I, I I don't know what happened to them guys, you know what I'm saying? I made some calls and all that, of course. I, I don't know whatever happened to those dudes. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never paid nobody no money back. But I ain't never got no rims back either. No, none of that shit. So, like, I don't know, man. Like, that's the time that the Jamaican wanted to kill me, man. Death threats, man. Calling my phone, man. Letting me know what they're going to do to me type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just blessed that I made it through that. It could have got real serious. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just blessed that nothing came behind that deal. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Story time with your boy Smoke Decent, man. Decent television, man. If you ain't done so yet, man, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe to my channel, man. Help run me up, man. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm going to try my best to bring y'all some of the dopest stories that I can. Like I said, if I can't, which I know I can, but just so happen I don't, then I'm, I'm going to give y'all a dope-ass story about myself because, you know what I'm saying, I got a story to tell. I'm my biggie boys. You heard me? But, uh, yeah, man, appreciate y'all for watching. Please, please go ahead, like, comment, subscribe to this video. Subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and smash that notification button, man. And hop in the comments, man, and let me know what you thought about this story. Let me know if there's anything that y'all would like to hear. Just throw something out there. I'm pretty sure I got a topic about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure we can talk about it. You know what I'm saying? But, uh. Yeah, man, decent television, man. Appreciate y'all for watching, man. Next time, y'all. If I get a no, I, I, I want to start up a war, then you can't even go to the store.